Hello and welcome to Pre-Go Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. You are watching how to make a chat app in Android Studio Part 6. And in this video, I will teach you how to code the main chat activity. And to let you all know, I have already posted my login activity tutorial on my Patreon page, which contains Facebook and Google login in it. So hurry up and check that out. You will also get my informative app video where I teach how to make the subscription part where users can pay for a specific option for a specific period. Now without wasting any time, let's get started. So before starting, in the previous videos if you remember, I have not loaded my application on my mobile phone or on my smartphone to see what is going on with the program or I have not compiled my program yet. So when I did compile, there has been some errors, so I've fixed them already. Now I'll tell you what are the options that I've fixed or what are the portions I've fixed. So first of all, if you see the layout, the activity register user, this fields, the edit text, didn't have an input type. So I did mention an input type for every edit text. If you can see here, the first name has an input type of text person. The last name has a text person. And like that, every edit text has an input type. So the next thing which I faced was the if statement, which was assigned in the onCreate under onClickListener for the register button over here. There are some checksums to check the first name, last name, and check password for the password field to check their length and everything. So I have made some changes in the Boolean methods over here. So if I open the first name, I have firstly initialized an integer variable whose name is length, which will be equal to first name dot length. And I've checked if the length is less than two, that is the first names should be more than two characters long. So over here, if the length is less than two, then it returns false. Else, if the length is greater than 2, it returns true. Else, if these conditions are looped somehow, it will return true anyway. So, the next method is the same thing. I just changed it to last name. And the third method is also the same. So, these are the few changes that I made to the method. And uh, one major change that I made was in the sign up method over here profile pic status is not equals to nothing then you can go forward i'm not checking it under the on click listener but i'm checking it under this method one more error that might fire is over to the compress image the compress image should contain this line that profile pic status is loaded because when you load the profile picture this line is not there this uh, will show an error anyways because ultimately the link is going to be fetched when the upload profile pic or this method is called. So this method is being called not when you are loading the picture but when you are hitting the button. So make sure this is changed when the profile picture is loaded in the under the compressed user image. So these are some of the changes and I don't think I've made any other change. Um, no, I don't think so. Yes, I've made uh, one blunder also that I have initialized a reference over here, uh, saying reference and then I've made a separate method to show the references, but to initialize the references, but that is not needed. That was showing an error because I was using Firebase current user method uh, to fetch the current user UID before the user is being signed in. So that showed me an error. Do not use that. Uh, get rid of it. Get rid of the method and use it underneath the consecutive methods. As I am uh, uploading the user data, I have used my reference over here. And as I have uploaded the profile picture, I have used my storage reference over here. So use it like this. Don't use it the way I was using in the previous videos. So now as every error is fixed, so let's go to Java, right click, hit new, go to activity and create a bottom navigation activity. I'll name it chat 
main activity but obviously you can name it as you want let's hit finish and wait for it to sync so as our bottom navigation activity is properly synced now we can work with the layout so just hit the text tab of the layout field and then what we need to do is get rid of this text view and over here we need to create a frame layout with match parent and match parent and what we need to do extra is we need to assign a margin bottom so margin bottom would be 60 dp for me now you assign as you want 60 dp might not work for you now i am assigning a margin because i need this to be seen when there are a lot of card views over here so if this is match parent and it overlaps this bottom navigation so this would hide the frame layout would hide the bottom navigation view so this is perfect now we just need to constrain this so right click constrain top right click constrain bottom right click constrain start right click constrain end and that's it what we need to do now as you see here the margin bottom has just disappeared so we just need to assign it again so margin bottom would be 60 dp that's it now we are done with the frame layout now we can go on adding fragments and card views so that's it for this video follow me on twitter on my twitter handle that is at coding prego which is given in the description box down below and if you like to get exclusive tutorials videos visit my patreon page www.patreon.com slash prego coding classes and if you want to support this channel with any sort of donation of any amount, the donation links are also given in the description box. Do check them out. So thank you. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, then the subscribe button, and then the bell icon.